Good morning kids. Today we will start chapter 5 that is natural resources. Here in page number 39 you can see some pictures. The first picture tells that earth is a storehouse of natural resources and water is one of the main important natural resource. Water is used for agriculture and irrigation. It is also used for drinking, cooking and other domestic purposes. Now here there is a question for you. You have to list two famous water bodies you have visited in your life. Where do you think the water in these water bodies come from? You have to write the answer in your notebook with proper date, chapter name. Nature has gifted us with many useful substances like air, water, wind, birds, animals and so on. So these useful and valuable substances are known as natural resources. It is present in the nature. Now there are two types of natural resources. The first one renewable resources and second is non-renewable resources. First we will discuss about renewable resources. So, renewable resources are natural resources which are present in nature in large quantity and they can be replaced by natural processes and never completely used up. These are the few features of renewable resources. The first one is it is inexhaustible. The inexhaustible means it is present in large quantity and cannot be completely used up by human activities. Second is it can be reused and recycled multiple times. And third is no harm is done to the environment because of its use. Now we will discuss about non-renewable resources. The natural resources that exist in limited quantity and cannot be replaced easily is known as non-renewable resources. And the features are it is exhaustible that is it is present in less quantity. It cannot be reused or recycled and huge harm is done to the environment because of the harmful emission. Now let us see few examples of renewable resources and non-renewable resources. The example for renewable resources are sunlight, wind, water, trees, plants, animal waste, tides, oxygen, etc. Examples of non-renewable resources are coal, oil, petroleum, minerals, natural gas and so on. These products that is petroleum, coal, natural gas are formed over millions of years from the remains of plants and animals and these are known as the fossil fuels. Now let us discuss the need for conservation of natural resources. We need to conserve natural resources because natural resources are essential for our life and we are using up it faster than they can be replaced. The second is overuse of fossil fuels to generate energy has resulted in the pollution of our environment and we should conserve natural resources to ensure that the future generation will be able to access the resources. Now we will discuss the ways of conservation of natural resources. First one is go for afforestation that means plant more and more trees. Second is rainwater harvesting that means to collect the rainwater for future use. Third dams and reservoirs to construct dams so that we can use that water for agriculture and to produce electricity. Next is use carpool or public transport so that we can save the 
resources. Next is close the tap when not in use and fix leaking pipes. Next is treatment of industrial waste before discharging them into the water bodies as they can pollute the water bodies. Next is promoting green technologies like solar panels and so on. Next one is reduce our trash that is the waste. So, there is less of it. Recycling helps lower our dependence on resources. Next is reuse of these resources again and again. Next is in situ conservation that means protecting animals and plants in their natural habitat. For example, national parks, wildlife sanctuaries and so on. The last point is ex situ conservation that means protecting plants and animals outside their natural habitats. For example, botanical garden, zoo etc. Now there is an activity for you. You have to make a poster on conservation of natural resources and upload in assignments in Microsoft team. That's all for today. We'll meet in the next class. Thank you.